the rain has moved out, but now there are high surf alerts up and down our coast as the waves get dangerously high. And tides in places like Redondo Beach will be peaking this morning. And those massive waves are spurring flood concerns now. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez is live in Redondo Beach, where people have already been showing up to check out the waves. Rick? We've seen a few people show up. Uh, there's someone walking around right now. What we want to show you, though, as these big waves are coming in, we're seeing them already come back into the parking lot. Look here. This is where the waves just a few minutes ago washed up and then started coming out here into the road. So this whole area is closed off. I mean, look, you see a bunch of seaweed out here and all this sand, mud basically now because of all the water. And then the closure up here, that is for Yacht Club Way. Police have closed that off right now as these big waves continue washing in and if Victor can show us if we can see some of those waves right now you might be able to make out the white caps washing up onto shore pretty stunning to see including video from one man that he recorded yesterday as the waves washed into the parking lot holy Quite the reaction from uh, Gary Winthrop there, who recorded this last night as the waves crashed over the rocks and into the parking lot. This is right near the Redondo Beach Yacht Club, adjacent to the Chart House restaurant, which was also taking a beating. Of course, you could see the power of the ocean pushing onto shore. This is the result of yesterday's major storm and a full moon. Our chopper, SkyCal, also flew over the area last night as the waves crashed into the seawall here at the man-made King Harbor. This is, of course, a popular area for Redondo Beach, but the warning is to stay away and out of the water. Neighbors have been coming out here. They say they've seen the power of this high surf before. I can sense is the sense of um, kind of uh, vigilance, and we just need to be careful, right? I mean, current, the wave, and so if you're planning to go into the sea surfer or fisherman or anything, just like be careful. So as these waves continue crashing in, this closure will stay here. Will stay. Sorry, the closure will stay closed. The road will stay closed, I should say, until about 6 o'clock later today, until everything calms down. These waves, though, continue crashing in. There's a couple of homes on the other side of this restaurant, the Chart House. We're waiting to see if there's any damage that hopefully we can spot once the sun comes up. Reporting live in Redondo Beach, Rick Montanez, KCAL News. Get CBS News Los Angeles on the CBS News app. Download now. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.